Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have SBC Footmas Arturo Vidal. Whether or not the card is worth getting, for me guys, I do think so, okay? We're going to be checking out this card right now. So, the difference between the Footmas card and the 84 card is a rating of 2. So let's go check out the specific stats that they increase, um, considering that the Rare Gold card, we're going to be looking at a Rare Gold card that is 6k, to a Arturo Vidal that is 69k, right? So the differences with upgrades, because they work differently for the different positions on the pitch, right? It's not like one makes more sense than the other, right? So um, the CDM position, because that's what we're going to be looking at. Yes, he's a center mid. I do not recommend using this card as a center mid because, I mean, you can, you know, because he has the high, high work rates. He has the shooting, passing, all that kind of stuff. So you definitely could use them, right? I just prefer more agile type players in those center mid positions like Luka Modric, right? So for me personally, in my team, I'm going to show you guys in a bit, I'm going to be using this card as a left center defensive mid. Why? Because he has the four-star weak foot. So him and De Jong in the CDM position is going to create a very, very good balance, right? Let's take a look at the card upgrades. We're looking at threes for pace, which is pretty solid. I'm okay with that. We're looking at twos and threes for the shooting, which is good because... Because... It's actually already good. If it was like low shooting, like it was like in the 60s, and you're like, yeah, we're going to increase it by twos and threes, doesn't matter because you're not going to notice it, right? But this, uh, with great shooting stats, you know, in, in the general area, they're going to improve it a little bit. Uh, twos, and one for, for twos and ones for the defense, which is a, a, a plus, right? It could have been twos and threes in my genuine opinion, but it is what it is. Um, physical ones and twos, and then the dribbling threes and fours is also a very, very big difference on the card, right? We're looking at a plus four for composure which in my opinion makes a huge huge difference on the card because you're not i don't think well if you use him as a center mid you can give him an engine card right if you give him an engine card in the center mid position pretty sure i just went over it if you give him a, give him a center mid position card uh or chemistry style on his card his dribbling will be significantly better with 87 composure it'll be a very solid card right you're increasing his passing and then his pace is still kind of low right so the reason why I would use him as a CDM is because I would give him a nice little shadow card. Plus 15 in the acceleration, plus 10 in the sprint speed, and then great defensive boost in general, right? So I just want to show you guys uh, what we're going to be lined up with with this Vidal card. I personally think it's worth getting because I don't necessarily see him getting uh, an inform card at any point in the future or whatnot. Um, I don't think he's going to get a team of the season either, but is he a very good card in game? Yes, we're looking at someone who is 5'11". Uh, has the Barcelona link, so you can link him up with Griezmann as a center mid. Griezmann, uh, because there's a left wing Griezmann that exists as well. Dembele, uh, De Jong, you know, there's a lot of links to go with that. I do 100% think De Jong is going to get a nice little team of the season card. So that's something to, to definitely look out for. But I do want to show you guys how I'm going to line up in game. You guys know that I'm using different teams and using different fun teams. Um, and they're pretty nice. You know, I got 15k to work with. I think Footmas... I think Footmas was uh, was okay. I, I don't think it was too bad. In the beginning, it was a super, super rough start. It was just absolutely ridiculous. But I think uh, I think it definitely improved along the way. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to be lined up in-game. We're going to go ahead and search for the Liga Santander player here. Uh, we're going to search for Arturo Vidal. So it's all a matter of giving them the right chemistry styles. But you can tell what they kind of need and don't need. Uh, in regards to basic chemistry style because it allows you to test out the cards. I'm doing this for the fun concept right here. Nice little Acuna and Bolasi link up on the left side, so not too bad there. But you can see, right, the way that this team is set up right now, I wish Fakir was cheaper, like 60k, because he shouldn't, well, he's 50k even. 200k was ridiculous for that card. Let me just be the first to say it was 200, 200k, Jesus. 50 would be nice. I would have done the card for 50, but it is what it is. Um... Arturo Vidal will be playing in that position. Nice little links with Barcelona, like I said, right? Uh, the way that we will, uh, the way that we will be lined up in game is going to be like this. So Arturo Vidal will be playing in the left center defensive position. De Jong with that three-star weak foot on the right side, medium high work rates is going to play on the right side. Velocity to the right, Griezmann up top as a striker, Dembele to the left. It's a very, very fun concept of a team, right? So I recommend you guys getting this. There's a nice little balance between the CDM area now because one person is high, high work rates. Uh, but 
The most important thing is that the other person is medium high work rates, right? So there's a very, very good balance there uh, within the team. So this is the team. This is how we're going to be lined up in game. I'm going to go ahead and try out Vidal on the basic chemistry style. And then at some point in the future, I will give him a shadow card so that he can play to his best potential. By the way, guys, this card right here, I really hope uh, Sevilla does well in the Europa League because he's so much fun to use. Even if he doesn't get an upgrade, I genuinely don't care. He is incredible in this game. But we're going to go into a match right now and see how uh, Arturo Vidal plays. Oh, beautiful little play right here. We actually might get the ball here with Fakir. Oh, Fakir gets an interception. Beautiful stuff. Arturo Vidal is involved in the play. Griezmann, get him on his left foot. He's going to think I'm going to get it. Guess. Oh, see, you want to you wanna get that small little angle. You never know what type of finesse shot he's going to do, whether it's going to be a power finesse or kind of like a flimsy one, right? what he does there. But um, it's working out so far. Oh, Bolasi. Oh. Vidal's, Vidal and De Jong's positioning, I do like. I, th I think it creates a very good balance to, between those two where they have the medium high. Just makes more sense the way that it's set up now. Acuna at that left back position on seven chemistry is playing brilliantly. Great little pass there with Vidal. Bolas going to make that run. We're going to keep it onside there. Gonna wait for the run. Oh, who was that that I just attacked? It was Fakir. Ooh, that would have been a brilliant goal there too. I think that's like the whole thing there with uh, the the uh, three star weak foot. Definitely need to always take that into consideration with these types of players, right? Oh, beautiful. He thought I was gonna overcommit there. See? Oh, and I can't believe he missed. That's why. See, it's always, it's always the specific stats that are always important, man. That's why I'm saying, like, CDM position. It's nice to have the person that can shoot the ball in that position. Reason's gonna make that run. We're gonna be composed here. Nice little finish. AI blocks it. We still get the deflection. So Usman Dembele, beautifully positioned to score that goal. Nice little build-up goal in general. Like, if I shot it with his right foot, it wouldn't necessarily have been consistent. So it was good to uh, to take those little extra touches right there. So far, I do like that Vidal's off-the-ball movement with De Jong. It just creates a beautiful, beautiful balance. And I think that with a shadow card, he'll just be significantly better. So, so far, that's the whole thing with the CDMs, right? Is is I think that's what people should be looking for, is the little link-up play between him and De Jong, whether it's worth it um, in the general CDM position. Right, because I think that that's always the most important thing when it came, comes to uh, CDMs in general, and uh, I, I think that's something that people should look at a lot. Beautiful from, from Vidal right there. That was really good. That's without a shadow card too, so that's even better. When you see stuff like that, it's just a beautiful thing to see. You definitely need those kind of things. Taking on the defenders. Oh, Griezmann's going to make a nice little run right there. Fakir's going to go in. Do the extra little dribble soap on the space. Ah, it's when you get into this position here that the players, they do not move. I don't know why. It's such a bad thing with this year's game that they never improved that. Like, there's just genuinely no movement when you get into that area of the 18-yard box. It's so it's so disappointing. It's, you can't even fix it either. Like, the players just do that. Beautiful. Velocity. Ball roll, get the extra angle. Ooh, and his player just gets that there. That little small gap, that's what I was like going for there, but his player gets the interception. Yeah, so far I'm really, really liking the balance between Vidal and De Jong. I think they're off the ball and on the ball movement is brilliant, and I, I definitely need that shadow card on Vidal for sure. I just love the way he's positioned. Like him and like I keep saying it, but that's like the whole thing. That's the only reason why I think the card is like worth the price is because of that balance they're gonna make uh, between him and uh, between him and De Jong, right? You need that. You need that balance between the two, right? Should have been a fake shot there, but yeah, the balance is very, very important, man. Oh, Blossy's making that run. Beautiful. 
just not the greatest movement. I don't know. I just I don't like the way they move in the 18 yard box, man. When you get into that position, they do not move at all. They have to the AI, the attacking AI has got to do better there, man. It's gonna be offside too. The attacking AI has just got to do better in those situations. It's something that they should have adjusted this year that they just didn't, and it sucks that they haven't yet. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Here's the yacht. Yannick Volasi. Semedo. Possession is the name of the game for this team. Bekir. Oh, Balassi on his weak foot. There it is. Last minute goal with Balassi. Nice little fake shot. I love this card, man. I really do. I love this card on his four-star weak foot. With a sniper chemistry style, man, he's absolutely brilliant. But guys, I'm telling you, man, there's such a perfect balance right now. It's not even per it's not perfect, but it's because uh, perfect is, is, is up there, you know. But there's such a good balance between my two CDMs now that the card was worth getting, man. I just need to give him a shadow card to give him that pace boost. That's that's the biggest thing I definitely need on the card. Or even if I were to give him like an engine so that he can move better on the ball because his defending stats and his physical stats are already good that, you know, a little bit of a pace upgrade with better dribbling and better passing wouldn't necessarily hurt anybody either. But I just feel like shadow for me to be able to push up and come back would definitely be worth it. But um, I really enjoy using the card. It's definitely worth it. I, I, I do recommend it. We're going to be checking out some chemistry styles uh, just here in a second. So as you guys can see here, right, the pace boost, man, the pace boost is such a big thing, right? Giving them that little pace boost is, is just super, super helpful. More defensive stats, more pace. But it's also like if you give them an engine, right, like think about this. Yes, you're not getting the pace boost. You're not. And the pace boost is very nice. But... With an engine, you're increasing his dribbling, so on the ball, he'll be better. He already has defending stats. He already has physical stats. Pace being increased by five, it could be better. You know, tracking back, I think, is a very, very important thing in FIFA. But, you know, if you want to improve his general movement on the ball, an engine would be very, very nice to give him. It's just that I don't necessarily think I need his dribbling to be better. I more, I more want the, the pace. You know, I want the pace on that card. I think it's very important for my CDMs to have it, but... Um, yeah, I have no regrets doing the card. You know, I, I, it fits my team perfectly. Acuna is a really fun-oriented uh, left back that you get. Even on 7 Chemistry, this guy is really, really fun to use there because he can dribble fast, he can pass, he can shoot, and it's just... Uh, it's very fun to use his team. Uh, Fakir and Griezmann would have to be replaced because, you know, that weak foot definitely can be annoying at times in the attacking areas, but... I really, really enjoyed using the card. I do recommend doing it, guys, uh, personally, and especially because of the links that you can get with him. So that's pretty much it for the review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we end the video, guys, happy holidays. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. I don't know what the heck I'm going to upload for tomorrow because it really depends on if anything is done. And if it's not, we'll just have like a regular discussion and how foot miss went and uh, all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.